Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with some more adventures in locksmithing. Uh, this time, <laughs> I, uh, we've been going through our nightmare cars, and the one that started this whole thing off, that 04 Honda Civic, uh, where the guy didn't have the battery hooked up or any of that, he got the whole thing in order, called me up, and, uh, well, first he asked me when I could be out there, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm booked up. It, it'd be about three days. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll get back to you. And then he calls me at, like, 10 o'clock the night before. He's like, hey, you know, here's the address because uh, I moved the car. Here, here's the, you know, the address now that where it's at. Um, I'll see you there at 10 a.m. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You said you'd get back to me. We we didn't book an appointment. I'm like, it's still going to be another day or so before I could be out there. So then then we set up an appointment. I get out there, and I knock on the door, and the guy, like, has no clue what I'm talking about. I'm like, that car right there out in front of your house. And he's like, I don't know whose car that is. It's just been there for the last couple of days. And so he says, maybe it's my neighbors. I, I don't like that it's in front of my house, but maybe it's my neighbors. So I go to go walk over there, but I look into the car. It's dirty. There's a rubber chicken on the front seat for some reason. And a dog starts barking at me. I'm like, whoa, there's a dog in it. A little chihuahua. And then I realize there's a guy sleeping in the back of it. It's the guy that I'm supposed to be doing the job for. And he's like, oh, hey, you're here. And, you know, he had bought this car. Well, he was living in it. He didn't have a house. And so because it didn't run, he just like pushed it three blocks down the road and part in front of somebody's driveway. And, and just like, okay, this is good enough. I'll be here until they, they, they try to kick me out of here. And so I go to get ready to start doing it. And. Lo and behold, he tried to hotwire the car. And he had ripped like all the wiring off the ignition, just like completely tore that up. And the key, which when I had made the other day, worked in the ignition, now didn't work. I don't know if he like tried to stick a butter knife in the ignition and get it to turn or what he did, but the ignition no longer worked. That's something I could fix, but I already had a feeling that this guy wasn't going to have the money to do the regular job, let alone the money that it would cost to pay me to repair that, and then looking at all the electronics where all the wires were all snipped and then tied back together, I thought, no, I've already wasted enough time, money, and energy on this. I'm going to defer. And I said, well, you're going to have to take this into a mechanic. They're going to have to repair all that. It's going to be costly, just letting you know. And he's like, which mechanic? And I'm like, well, there's a few in the area, but um, if you want to make sure that it's going to run, uh, probably Honda dealership, but that's going to be really expensive. Um, but, you know, th this guy bought this car, not even knowing if it runs, for super cheap, with the plan of living in it. It, it just, um, you know, and then his messing around with the car because of his impatience made it a job that I couldn't complete, and I, I don't have time for that. So uh, I thought that was funny that they kind of, you know, capping off the nightmare cars, going back to the first one that started this all. Of course, uh, I'm in a much better mood. I'll probably do a video just kind of highlighting. I had a day where I had a whole bunch of really good cars go well, and so uh, that's put me in a better mood about the whole automotive scene. Anyways, hope everybody's having a good day, and I'll catch you in the next video.